for those who are new to my X journey, I am Mrs. Y. And for those who are returning viewer, I want to say welcome back. So for this week's videos, obviously I am doing a part two or my unboxing. And if you have not yet watched my part one, I will put the link above and down below in the description box. So then you will miss some tips as well. And for those who have been following me, you guys know, you know, this year I'm supposed to be doing topic poll, like the weekly topic poll. But you know, since I have a massive unboxing haul, like I have to postpone it until June because who doesn't love unboxing, right? Especially, you know, I talk about strategy at the same time. And today we have some tea to spill and I hope that would help you you know, with your MS journey at the same time. So without further ado, let's start with today's unboxing. So normally I will start with a smaller item, right? But today I am going the other way around. I'm going to do the big boxes first. So, and the reason why that I am unboxing the big boxes first, because that was the reason why that I got a text from my essay and say, oh, these has arrived. So I need I needed to go to the store and pick these up. Well, technically he said he could ship it to me, but then I'm like, I haven't seen my essay for a while. So I decided to, you know, pay him a visit and see if there's anything else that I want. And guess what? Like I made a perfect decision of going into the store to pick these up. So let's see what Mr. Y and I have been waiting for. So let's just open them. Yeah, so we got this breakfast cup set it's also a h deco collections but instead of white as a background this is black mr white actually prefer white but i actually like the black collection so if you guys remember last year i actually purchased h deco mug that it's with the black background instead of white and mr white got a white one for himself so the breakfast cup actually in the h deco collections they only have it in black not in white so this is very interesting if you are interested you know you can definitely request your essay it takes a little bit of wait for us i think it took us at least like about four months for it to arrive for each set so i'm talking about just one breakfast cup and the plate that's 215 dollars so the whole box of two will be $430. Just for your reference. So if you like, you know, these design and you need a breakfast cup, I would highly recommend go request to your essay. So now, of course, as you guys know, I'm always interested to see like, you know, the artisan logo because you know, they're all very unique and different. And let's look at this plate. Best for me. This is a croissant. Look <laughs> at the top one. Yeah. Oh, this is also a croissant. Let's Let's see the actual cup. Is it also a croissant? Let's look at the bottom one. I would think it should be. Oh no, it's not. So this is a clock. Let's look at the top one. See if it's a clock or it's a croissant. So this is also a clock. So can I assume that a set of breakfast cups are made with two different artisans? It looks like it so far. So let's see the other box guys. I think it's a cherry. I think we have this artisan before. And this is also cherry. Oh, did they mix up? This is a croissant. Maybe this this set should have been the other box. Let's see if the top one is a croissant as well. Yes, it is. It's a croissant. Interesting. Okay, I mean, depending on who packed them, right? Anyway, it doesn't really matter, okay? Like all Hermes artisans are really talented. As we arrived at the boutique and waiting for my essay to bring out the breakfast cup, which I wasn't really expecting him to have anything else for me, even though I was, you know, going to ask him this item. And surprisingly, you know, he has it. And he initiate and show me, you know, what he has for me. He was like, I have a little surprise for you, but not sure if I have already offered you one or not. That's like exactly what he said. Or you already have one. I'm like, what is it? <laughs> so he opened it and I was like, oh, um, 
J because this is what I've been waiting for two years now. It's like ever since I met him, I already been requesting for this item. So we're talking about I waited since like 2021. I, I've seen many of them, but then I just didn't like the color. So never purchased one. <laughs> Okay, I was waiting for a perfect one. Let's open it. Ta-da! This is the Calvi Duel. So it's not a regular Calvi, it's a Calvi Duel. So even though this is not a two-tone because I actually really wanted a two-tone color, but since this is like gold, I think, you know, it still fit my vibe and it's neutral color. You can't really go wrong, right? So as you can see, I can't actually pull this size where you can put like credit cards in here and then you pull it or you can put coins, of course, but you pull it, it's much safer, I feel like, because it has a buckle here. So I really like the Calvi Duo. It, it looks like you have two usage of it. Okay, and obviously this is in Epsom leather. And this is what my essay told me. He said, you know, all of the essay get assigned at one this time and it's either black or gold. So he immediately picked the gold one, which I feel so blessed because he knows that I don't normally ask for black color. So oftentimes I rejected like black bags offer. Like I think there's a few times he tried to offer me, you know, the Picotin, try to offer me the mini Evelyn because I was asking for mini Evelyn. But then I was like, once I hear it's black, I'm like, forget about it. I don't want it. So I'm like, yay! My essay really put me to heart, I feel like. I'm so excited to use it. I've been waiting to unbox this, but I've been too busy and lazy, I guess. So now I can use it. So, and then we shop around the store and my essay suddenly asked me, do I wear belt? I was like, what? Sometimes he tried to like, you know, <laughs> ask me if I like this or that because he has this with him, right? So I appreciate that. But anyway, so he asked me if I wear belt because he had a Kelly belt in black. <laughs> so, and it's with rose gold hardware. And then let me just quickly unbox and show you guys how beautiful this piece is. And you guys know that I already have a gold Kelly belt in rose gold hardware. So the black with rose gold is also very practical. And especially, you know, sometimes with my job, I have to wear all black, but maybe with a pinch of gold, that's okay. And the rose gold, it seems to be a good choice. So this is in a black color. Let's just open it. Okay, just take a little bit of time to actually open the belt. I love how detailed like Hermes is. Like they make this like dust bags for the hardware. <laughs> the mini one are so cute. Okay, so now look at the rose gold color. It's very pretty. It doesn't look old. I think it's just pretty subtle. Um, obviously you can buckle it like that. And I like the Kelly belt because, you know, you, it's like one size fits all. Okay. Like you just adjust it yourself. So I, I'm enjoying the gold one and I love how now I have a black one to choose from. Okay. And obviously I like something, of course I will take it. Right. And so I also had him keep an eye out for me for a con again. So we will see if the store will receive it. So now he has, you know, a ready to wear on the list that he's working on, but we will see. So there are times that, you know, it's, it's okay to, you know, request something or like just look at that department, but they don't have it. And, you know, they're willing to order. If they're not able to order, you know, the essay will say like, oh, it, it might come soon or whatever. I'll, I'll put it on the list. I'll let my manager know but it's not in their control and that's okay <laughs> because now I'm thinking, well, it's a good thing that the store doesn't have a card again, but for your essays, you know, mentality, they will be like, well, you want it, but the store doesn't offer. Okay. That's always a good strategy. Okay. But obviously if he has it, I will buy it. Okay. So as we were keep shopping, um, Mr. Y mentioned that he wants this item for his 
graduation coming up. So you may ask me, what graduation? So he is graduating from a doctoral degree at Columbia and can't wait. And he needed a new bow tie. And I think, you know what? Like he deserved one. Like, And he loves to wear bow tie for a special occasion like oftentimes when we go to weddings like he would like to wear bow tie instead of like a re regular fashion tie i don't know why but that's just his thing so let's just see his first ever Hermes bow tie so this is a really really subtle and you know that columbia regalia like it's light blue and it's mainly blue color and so he picked this you know darker blue but with you know the Shandong pattern I think it's really really cute it's very subtle like he thought of getting you know the classic the the H1 but I think it's a little bit too much and in which he thinks so as well so he was like looking for this Shandong ones and my essay needed to order this because it's available online but it's not available at a store which your else essay can help you with that so it may be better for you to have your essay order things online for you rather than you order it yourself depending how your essay look at you know online shopping because some store doesn't really care some stores do uh, i think some essay actually think it's too much work, then they are okay for the clients to order things online themselves. But with I think with the younger essay or like junior essays, they would prefer you actually shop with them and they will order it for you. They want to provide you that service. And I think it's probably because they want to get to know you a little bit more because you know, when you're actually shopping with them, that's when they really know because it's hard for them to really look at each client's profile all the time because obviously each client have a list of items that they purchase. Um, but if you're actually shopping with the essay, like they would know better in that sense. And I feel like, you know, more junior essays will take that as an experience and also a record of history okay that's how i see it right now and let's just put it back so as we were leaving i saw our clients was getting their so done okay the special order so i asked my essay about it you know he said the store manager requires qualified customers profile has at least two coda bags you know, like shop at the store or like just in their profile history. And I'm like, oh, because right now I only got offer one Birkin 25 from this boutique, even though last year they say, you know, the constants consider Coda, but not really. Um, he mentioned that, you know, a Birkin and a Kelly would consider as you know coda bag for like regular clients like me if customer who comes in just wanted like constance kelly or birkin like not really their long-term customers or regular clients the constants will count as that one coda best a year okay that's at least that's what my essay told me at this particular boutique like it may not apply to auto boutique and i'm sure this does not apply to the flagship store so anyways so he said he would try for next season for me and hope to get the approval like i believe i highly believe that he tried it last year because i asked for a mini kelly in croc and he said it's only special order would offer it or he's seen it that people would do but like it didn't come in as croc um, in the past, it's always comes in in like a regular leather. So I think because of that reason, I think he tried it once. Um, and maybe that's how he found out, you know, like the qualifications and what the store rule is and stuff like that. So he also spilled more tea, okay? He said, you know, they used to be able to invite six customers a year 
for the special order offer. So like basically three for the spring, summer and three for the fall, winter. But now like they could only allow to invite two customers to offer DSO. So it makes it harder to get approval for sure. But my essay said, you know, he can apply for me this following fall and see if I can get approval. Well, let's just put it as a finger cross, okay? Because if so, this could be my second SO. Even though I haven't received my SO under Mr. Y's profile yet. So I'm a little bit nervous and we will see. But I have a high hopes on my own essay. So even though it's a local boutique, but I know that he could make the magic happen. Okay, this is like, this is when you really feel like you have the vibe, you have the good relationship with your essay. That's how I see it. Like he really like transparent. Like he would tell me almost everything uh, whenever I ask. He knows like he just needs to be honest with me and I'm okay with it. And I can wait. I think that's the best part. And I think that's why he likes me. Let's hope that, you know, I can continue with this relationship and I will be receiving my two SO. I mean, even though the second one hasn't really started yet, but I have hope it's either this year or next year. <laughs> so we'll see. And guess what? My essay also surprised me with this cleaning cloth um nothing major but i really appreciate the fact that like, he remembers that i needed one that he owed me um because last year my mother-in-law and i got like silver jewelry and stuff like that he mentioned about the cleaning cloth but it just for some reason it never got restocked and i'm just lucky like that when i arrived this cleaning clock just came so he gave me two because he remembered he said when he saw it, he's like immediately grabbed two because he knew that he has a client who needed them um so this cleaning cloth is really good quality for sure it's thick it's not like thin okay and obviously it's double-sided and let's see what this say here yeah so it's a it's chiffon and it's for silver so the silver cloth okay and obviously that's in orange with the h logo anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed today's videos and i hope you guys find it more hopeful you know in getting and so like like don't feel like you know you're not special you won't be able to get it you know what it's all about relationship building um, I think everyone does have a chance. It's just in your own timing. So if I do get, you know, an SO offer from my own essay, I would definitely share that experience. Um, and I think it would be more meaningful because it's under my own profile. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channels, um, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you won't miss my next videos. And most likely I will be doing the topic poll again on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram um this is why x journey and i normally will do the topic poll every tuesday so if you don't see any poll you know just don't just don't be afraid and dm me to remind me okay sometimes i just get too busy like that but as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye